Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to do a, uh, a schedule uh, exercise. So the goal today is to create a, a window schedule and then uh, calculate the area of the window and uh, um, and also the percentage of the window uh, um, as uh, compared to the area of that room. Okay, so so this can be quite useful if you need to, you know, have some um, minimum, you know, uh, natural lighting uh, requirement for the room. Okay, so let's uh, start. Okay, so first, let's create a project. Okay, <clears throat> so um, so this is a architecture template usually when you start this uh you there's already a room oh sorry window schedule there so um let's just oh actually let me just uh delete this one so in case we don't have any window schedule so let's start from scratch okay so so first um we create a wing oh hang on so let's just create some play some room okay so place uh, some wall in the rooms okay so I'll just do uh, some wall and maybe I'll just uh, add another wall in the middle okay and then place room rm room and uh, just uh, maybe I'll just call this room one this room two okay so now I'm going to add some window wn window uh, maybe I'll just place one here one here one here and place uh, maybe a s different size maybe this one here this one here okay so so the next step is uh, we need to create a schedule so go to view schedule schedule and quantity type w go to window and i think everything else should be fine so yeah just be careful so you can see this one by default is set to existing so i believe the view this one this view sh uh, should be a new construction so need to change this one to new construction okay so now we need f um have some uh parameters right so so let's first put in maybe a uh, mark so which usually we use mark for window uh, numbers um next we can have the size of the window, so the width of those windows, and also the height. Okay, and then we can have um, yeah. If you want to, you can also add you know like type or uh, I think type T type. You can add type as well. Maybe I'll just move this up. So type is uh, next to the mark and width height, and we can have an area of that window okay so so there's no area so you can see there's no area for this window but we can create a calculated parameter so by click on this so and then just we can call it um, i'll just call it the w area okay so so for this one everything uh formulas yeah good discipline common type so we need to change this one to area okay so for the formula which because we already have you know width and height we just you know, click on this and we can pick the width and then just type uh, times and click this again height so this will give us the height oh sorry the area so so click OK and another thing we need to do is uh, we need to set the unit uh, format so which is under formatting okay so click on this window area and click on a uh, field format so for this one we need to change so currently the square meter but uh, usually so if we use um uh yeah square meter if it's you know quite a small one zero point you know uh, five or six it will always show as a one square meter so we need to uh have one at least one decimal place so square meter that's good click OK I think that's 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 it for now so click OK 
So now we have, uh, yeah, actually we need to add more things, but that, that's fine. So we, we now have a window schedule. So you can see all these are uh, the number. These are the type. So they are, these are actually the type, the name of the, those family types. Okay. So these are the width of the window. Uh, this is high and then square, uh, um, sorry, area of the windows. So now let's go back to, you know, here again. So we need to add more, some more. Okay. So, so we also need to add the room in which, uh, these, uh, windows are placed. So in order to add room, so you, you go here, right? So, um, I'm not, I'm not quite sure which one to sh uh, use. So I'm going to just add both. Okay. So from room, I'll just from room, the name of the room. Okay. So I'll add this one from room and also the area of that room. And then again, I'll just add to room, the name and uh, to room, the area. So, uh, I'll just, uh, yeah, add them um, for now, and then later I'll just uh, check which one I should use and just delete the, uh, those I don't need. Okay, so now these are the rooms, right? So, and then we can go add more. So, um, go back to windows. So now we need to, we have the area of the windows. We have the area of the rooms. Now we can uh, calculate the percentage of the, um, the window uh, relative to the room. Right, so go again, click on the calculated pr parameter. So this time we can call it, um, uh, for example, we can call it natural lighting percentage. Okay. And then uh, don't choose percentage, don't choose, choose formula. Okay. So common number is good, is, is correct number. Yeah. Formula. So click on this. We will need to use a, a window area divide by uh, room area or oh, actually which I'm not sure which one so maybe just cancel this one I'll cancel this one for now because we need to figure out which one to use first so I just click on OK now you can see we have some in from room some in to room why so let's have a look in uh, the floor plan okay so go to the ground floor so let's have a look click on this one okay so we all know that this, these, uh, what do we call this? Handle or switch or um, flip. Anyway, so they are supposed to be uh, on the exterior side of this window. So which means this play, this window is being placed uh, uh, incorrectly. So we need to flip this. This one's correct. This one's not. This one's correct. This one's correct. So now let's have a look again. Still the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is because I noticed that uh, even once you place the window, so these are disordered, and then even you flip the window, it won't change. So what I want to do is dub, uh, dub, type WT so we can see both view, right? So the schedule and the uh, floor plan. I'm going to place a window properly. So I'll type WN and I'll place it. Oh, actually, I'm not sure which, how to pl place it. Uh, either this one or this one. I'll just try, okay? So place this one. Ah, wrong. So I'll just delete it and place another one, WN. This time I'll place it here. I just wanted to see what which which side uh, these um, these uh, parameters are in? Okay, so so this is being placed correctly. Seven number seven seven. Okay, so from room name. So we are going to use from room name. Okay, so I'll just delete this one, and then for these um, already there. So it's it's simple. You just just go click on the drop down menu. Ah, oh, hell, what? It's not there. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh here, so yeah, it's it's actually there. So it's uh, you know from the these, but yeah, it's there. So you can see you can pick, and then this will remove it from remove the, those uh, names in you know in two room um, column. So now we can just get rid of these. So let's go back, click on edit, 
go to uh, two room, just remove it and then remove it. So now we only need one, we only have one. Okay, so click click OK. So you can see this. And also, uh, just you can always, you know, re re adjust the name of these. So you can, instead of having that, you can just call it room name. And this one, you can just call it uh, room area. Okay, so that's that. Um, and then we can add another calculated parameter. So uh, to calculate the percentage. So click on this calculate the parameter and then we can call it natural lighting percentage. Okay, so formula common number. Click on this uh, parameters, pick the window area, divide by uh, room area okay so now click OK and let's go to formatting as well so go click on this natural lighting percent, uh, percentage click on the format field format here untick this use default setting and drop on drop down menu you can use percentage for this one okay so and also same I'll just want decimal place and use a uh, unit symbol just uh, percentage okay click ok click ok so now you can see so these are the windows uh the percentage of the opening uh, relative to the area of those rooms so uh, let me just increase the size of yeah so it's easier for you to see these numbers right okay so the next step is so now we know these are room one room Two. So we can sort them and put add them together. So instead of all, all these like individual um, percentage, we're going to um, add them up using the room. So we go to sorting and grouping. Okay, I'm going to use uh, room 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 uh, room name. <laughs> okay, and. Um, I'll just click OK and see what's okay. So now it's just sorting. Uh, we need to add them up. So we need to go to uh, let me think. Try footer. Footer means we can add them up. So maybe title. Yeah, just use this one and have a look again. So now we have something here. So room one, three, three windows. But there's nothing here which means we need to go to the formatting, click on the natural lighting percentage, and see here there's this drop, no calculation for now. So we can change this one to total. So once we have this one, click OK, there will be a overall uh, percentage. So of these three windows in room one. Okay. And I think that's pretty much all oh, here. Yeah. And also another thing, because some because currently we just use the overall height and the overall width for those uh, windows, but but sometimes we need to also um, like uh, um, fact in the the size of the frames, so we can we can add a parameter. So for example, I'll just call it um, uh, a just a justification or. I'll, I'll just call it ADJ. <laughs> okay, so I'll just uh, use a, na a number. And this one uh, instance, okay, so for each window, it can be a maybe a for t uh, maybe just use type because um, uh, let's just use instance. Oh, maybe type. <laughs> Sorry, let's just use type because for each type, there might be a you know different percentage of you know frames, right? So uh, and then also go to the window area. We can go edit this uh, formula. Currently it's width divided by height. And then we can just type times uh, A adjustment. adjustment. Okay, A, D, J. Okay, and I click OK. So now for now it's all zero because we currently we don't have any of uh, the ADJ parameters for in those windows. So let's select the window. Go edit type, so you should be able to find that parameter. So it's called ADJ. So we type. So for example, let's assume this windows there's you know 
eighty percent, ninety percent of you know uh, gla uh, glazing. Okay, so point nine, and I click OK. So now you will see a uh, rabbit um, calculate the area using that uh, uh, adjustment uh, value. So get and then get this one and same. And we go if we go to this window. So for example, this one uh, will be zero point eight for example. So it's a bigger uh, uh, frame, like right? timber frame. So um, Click OK and then so we have this uh, so updated so you can see that's the one that's the actually that's the ADJ you can hide them so you can probably you can hide them so you don't want to show if you don't want to show them okay so I think this is it um, so this is a window schedule with all the windows uh, listed then um, and uh, the size of the window, the areas of win window, the room, and the area of those rooms, and then the percentage, so overall percentage. Okay, so I'll just quickly also uh, quickly show you. So sometimes we don't really need to show every windows, right? We probably don't just on, only. What if we only need, want to show? Oh, that's room one uh, percentage, room two percentage, so. How do we uh, do the adjust this setting? So, um, okay. So I think uh, we probably don't no longer need footers anymore because we can just use we can just add them together by just uh, untick this itemize every instance, and we're going to use room. That's fine. Um, and go to formatting, natural lighting percentage, calculate. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's click on OK and see what. Okay, so see, that's room name, room area, natural lighting percentage. I think this. So this is a simplified uh, schedule, and of course we can just hide all these, and then. So this is this is it, right? So this is another example. So simplified, and uh, yeah, so it helps you. Um, just you can yeah drag onto a shade to explain how all, all your uh, natural lighting requirement uh, uh, has been uh, met. Okay, so I think this is it. So very uh, straightforward. So um, I think yeah, probably not. Uh, don't need to. I don't need to upload this family. Um, yeah, so that's all. If you have any questions, um, please let me know. And uh, yeah, just post it here. So just, uh, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so thanks. I'll see you next time. Bye. Sorry, quickly, I, I forgot something. Uh, so with this one, so this is for natural natural lighting, right? So uh, we can also create another one. So very similar, and we can use a sim similar you know parameter. So adjustment parameter to control the opening percentage. For example, if uh, if it's a double hung window, we can type in zero point five. If it's a case work case work, uh, we can just type in one, right? So and then we can just uh, uh, um, calculate the natural uh, ventilation ventilation percentage okay so that's all thanks i'll see you next time